Now, I, I've been seeing encouraging signs in you that you yeah. are, you, you've gone down one of my favorite rabbit holes, which is what the hell happens in Antarctica. Oh, yeah. I mean, isn't that the best? It's the greatest, man. It's the greatest what? conspiracy ever because it makes no sense. No, I like mm-hmm. totally. I mean, I start looking into something when it's almost like that uh, American Psycho, like the Patrick Bateman effect, like the I was returning videotapes where the explanations make so little sense. And I'm watching people just be like, oh, you know, they say you can't fly over Antarctica because they don't want to uh, uh, affect the ecosystem. Like, that's so stupid because there's no commercial flights over Antarctica. There's no private flights. And there hasn't been since the uh, Antarctic Treaty. Like, the one treaty the world all agrees on is that no one goes into Antarctica. There's two islands off the coast called Rothschild Island and Deception Island. Swear to God. <clears throat> and then you, so you say, okay, so you can't fly, you can fly over the Amazon rainforest, which is the most dense ecosystem in the world but not antarctica which you're telling me is completely ice with like eight penguins and so you're like okay that makes no sense and then you just keep looking into antarctica the history of it uh how no one travels the the world like this it's only like this you know how many people go around the world like this but never like this and then you're just like okay this isn't what they they say it is and then the thing that blew my mind is just go on john Kerry's wikipedia on election day 2016, November or whatever in America, John Kerry goes to Antarctica and like is just there for three days. The like uh who else? There's like a, a bunch of world leaders will just go to Antarctica on either Christmas or election day, and then they say they're studying climate change. You know, that's ridiculous. And so I think that there's a, a really good chance that extraterrestrials, like extra terra, just means more land. So just mm. people in more land. And so then you look at Admiral Byrd and you look at all this stuff and just the deception of maps, the deception of what the world is. And, and I just think Antarctica, and it's so funny, given that my listeners call themselves bears, you know, because I, I always was called Big Bear because I'm six, eight and I can be grumpy, but I'm, I like berries. And Antarctica literally translates to no bears because <laughs> Ar- Arctic means bears, land of bears, and Antarctica means no- land of no bears. I just I thought that was thought funny. about that before. <laughs> 